Hello, we are playing uh, The Great War, seven, Scenario 7, uh, the British Renewed Offensive in Solitaire Mode. Uh, we are playing the British and we have gained two victory tokens. The Germans have three of those. And uh, yeah, let's start turn 7. So we have these two command cards to choose from. I will not play the replacements. Uh, I only have one unit needing replacements and only actually one guy. Um, so I will not use it for now. So um, I need to play this direct from HQ. So I will pay HQ tokens to activate units. And I think actually I will activate that guy. I might destroy his machine gun there. Um, thinking of also thinking of also activating these guys and move them up. Um, could get some fire from my bomber unit here on his bomber unit back there if I move it one, and the other rifle guy will just move up there. Also thinking of just activating these trench motors and keep a good motor barrage there. I will get that two two dice attacks. I think it could be worth it. So I have four tokens and I want to activate four units, so I will pay them all like that. And we start off with movement. So, as I said, these rifles will move up to these shell holes here. Try to do a last wave of attacks to he, to my left hand side here. Yeah, that's the plan. So these rifle guys will move one, so they can still fire. These these guys cannot fire. So where should we stop? And let's. Well, first of all, well, I can play any uh, combat cards because I have now zero HQ tokens. But let's see if uh, he, the German player, can do anything. No, not really. He could activate that card later on. Let's see. So let's start with the close combat there. And I have three dice. And. I got myself two bursts and one HQ token, so I get one of these precious things back. And I actually managed to destroy his machine gun at last, which also gives me a victory medal. So now we are both halfway to victory. I could gain ground here. By moving that guy there, but I think not. I think not. I want to move Jason to his bomber unit there. So let's continue here. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, well, maybe it does. Let's start with the bombers. Fire with two dice and also hit with deadly dice. Which we got, we got two nice hits here. Very good. Move two soldiers there, and then we reroll one die to see if his bomber goes as well. Nope, I need a deadly die for that. So, that was a good attack, and they also will get some grenades hitting them. Let's see. Nothing there. But anyway, not too bad. No, wrong, wrong card. It was this one, yes. Okay. Machine gun eliminated. And these guys took 50% losses, so... I'm quite satisfied with that turn. So, let's get another one of these and it's an recon right okay hmm well 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 
not exactly what I wanted, but anyway. Um, then I will grab myself two of these. So I'm now having three of those. And that's it, I guess. Let's see what the Germans have. Okay, recon in force, one in each section. That's interesting. There are quite plenty of these. Let's see if they they are interested in playing any one of these cards. They could be actually uh, well, well, the trench raid could be interesting. Maybe the machine gun barrage. Don't know really. I'm still four hexes away. Maybe he wants to wait with that till he gets a more efficient fire coming from there. But the short supply could be interesting. Could actually force back my guys there or even my bomber units to my baseline. Maybe that's a good idea. Um, I think he first wants to check if he plays the trench raid actually. Let's see, let's check that first. No. And then we have the short supply to check. Nope. So he will just play a plain command card. Uh, So, for his activations then, I think he wants to counter me with his bombers here, that guy will activate. And in the middle section, I think it makes sense to activate his other bomber there. And on this section I'm thinking of, thinking of a barrage actually. Yeah, let's put artillery here. So, movement. These guys will move up to close combat me. Like that. And here, well, we could move one down and close combat. And I think I'll I think I'll stay there and, and put some fire on, on my bombers coming up. And then we have the barrage, which will hit mm. let's put it here. It's just rifles, all of them, so it doesn't really matter. And I have you know basically three units. To hit there. So he will pay 4 HQ tokens for the barrage and we'll start with that. So that's 5 guys and 2 and 5 as well as doubles is what he seeks and yeah he got one double that's also hitting here, right? And he got one of the five, so another die attack there. So, let's start with the center hex. That's two dice. And uh, actually, no hits there. It's ranged fire and I'm in trench. That's good. Okay, so we have that guy who also survives like a miracle, and then the last one won't die in that junction hex. And I don't need to take that hit, so all guys are fine here in the trench. Happy days, so. Okay, that's that. So let's continue with the attack from his uh, bombers to, against my bombers. 
he wants to retaliate for the damage I did last turn. And he didn't hit me because I'm in shell hole, but he gets one H HQ token though. Like that. And we have a last attack coming up here, and this is really heavy. It's a four dice because he has a bomber present and oh my god he gets one two three hits and I'm gone there right because I only have three units there or three soldiers ouch bad bad another one Germans are in the lead again could also gain ground, but I don't see why he should move more to the flank there. I mean, I'm coming in this lane here, so he wants to be prepared to defend that lane, I guess. So, that's his activation. We grab him another command card. And then we check how many HQ tokens he have, and it's Four, I think, yes, he rolled a three, so he's actually opting for grabbing another combat card instead of more HQ tokens, and shell shortage, okay, so he could reduce my artillery fire down to two dice, instead of the barrage I paid for. So, mm. I have not been using my artillery too much because there's no big clusters of Germans. I think the only hex a good bomber is that or that, I think. So, yeah. Could be an option, of course, if he goes down to like one soldier and I can get a hit and eliminate the unit, or if he's out in the open, I could also hit that. Anyway, um, that was turn 7 and yeah, let's move on to turn 8. Okay, so for turn 8, it uh, does not make any sense to play this because I have no reduced units at the moment. So I need to play this one, we can write, but honestly I don't just want to, you know, jump in the shell holes with one unit and get hacked to pieces by this machine gun just waiting for me there, so... <sighs> I want a, you know, a bigger activation here be before I do anything, so... I will just... I will just put mortar fire on the machine gun unit there try to get a lucky shot there. It's one, two, three, four, five, six hex away, so it's just within reach for that guy. So I play this, and the good thing is that I will draw two cards in the end of the turn and you know choose one of them. So I have a fair chance to get something good here or something that could yeah, help me into the <coughs> German trenches there again. So I have the mortar barrage card, of course. I have, I could afford to play it also, but you know, I don't think it's. I, I want this guy to be involved in that because could he get that soon? I have these guys within four hex reach, so I could get five, uh, three dice there actually. So I will not play that. And that I cannot play, and I don't think. Germans can counter with anything. No, they can't. This is only for artillery, not mortars. So, here comes my attack. Okay, it's a flag. Which uh, will not give me anything there. That's it. And I'll grab two of these. And, well, well, well. This is good, but I don't have that much HQ tokens. 
I really like this one, the four water card. Um, okay, it's not. I can't activate the trillery, but I'm not intending to in the near future, so I'll go for that one. I think that's a good card to get things moving in the whole front. And I will also grab more HQ tokens. Maybe I can actually do them mortar barrage next, next turn, even. Okay. Not that much action this turn, or at least on my activation, but let's check what Germans do for turn 8. Okay, they have a probe center, so they got two units activated in the center. And I think this is a no brainer, these guys will continue to attack against my shell holes. And what else? He could go for another barrage, but. Now he's getting a bit a bit low on those HQ tokens. And speaking of HQ tokens, let's see if he's playing anything. Um, machine gun barrage doesn't make sense yet. The trench raid is always a good one. How many hexes could you move? It's actually four hexes, so you could actually raid with, with that guy down here. Attack me there. Okay, he would be out in the shell house for his next turn, but anyway. Yeah, maybe maybe he wants to do that. Let's check if he if he goes for trench raid. No, he didn't. And we have the short supply, but does that make any sense now? Mm. Maybe he could push back my bombers. Let's check if he wants to do that. Uh, it would cost him three. Yeah, he actually he's opting to push back my uh, bomber units. So he's paying three for that. Now let's see. I need to move it to my baseline. So okay, these guys are pushed back. They were got out of grenades, hand grenades, so they will need to go back and fetch or more this bomber unit. So maybe these guys will not see any more action this game. I don't know. Ah, oh, that was not good actually. Okay. Anyway. Um So for the two units activated this turn in the center section, well, that guy will be as I said, and I actually think he could move up his trench motors as the other activation. So those guys are more into, I mean, he could now put some more deadly fire when my guys are beginning to reach his trench lines. And then he gets the attack here with two dies. That's a bomber unit, so okay, I can ignore one soldier symbol in shell holes, but one hit I need to take. This unit is also losing now, losing men. Anyway, that was it. We'll grab him this card and Let's see, I think it's a fair chance he wants to grab those now. Uh, yes, he will. So, um, three of these now. Uh, thinking if he wants to. Ah, he cannot discard because he played one card this turn. 
Come on, okay, there we go. So, that's it for turn eight, I guess. Um, things does not look too good for me now. I have this lone guy advancing here still, supported by <laughs> transporter unit against, well, this is a weakened bomber, so if I could get some good hits there, maybe, I mean, we I have these for the next turn, right, so I could activate both guys, maybe even with this, so I, I could actually, with a bit of luck, I can eliminate that guy, but let's see, uh, here we are just waiting for the whistle and then go over the top which I think actually I will start up this turn turn 9 uh, and in the center, let's see I'm gonna think a minute and I'll be right back for turn 9 so, we're playing the forward card and I think I will play the motor brush with that. Maybe the battle. Yeah, they they actually range combat twice even, so this is good. This is a good uh, preparation also from this side before I go over the top. So I paid th three for the barrage card and. This side will activate these two guys um, in the center. It will be this trench mortar and that guy, and on this flank, we take the two guys in the on the edge here. Yeah. So, or maybe no, I go for those two guys for my right hand side. Okay. So movements. I will actually boldly advance here and get ready for close combat. In the center section, it's time now to do the attack. So these guys move up two. Uh, then we had the mortar and the, for my right section I uh, will advance these guys one hex they can actually fire against his machine gun and we also had this guy on the edge here who will advance up to that shell hole so we have a general advance coming here so let's start with uh, yeah let's start with this flank so I have one, two, three, four hexes range. I have the motor barrage card played. So, oh, sorry, here it is. And one die and two attacks. So I will get actually three dice twice if he stays there. Here comes the first attack. Uh, that gave me nothing. <laughs> and the second attack. Please give me at least one hit now. No hits, but I gain two HQ tokens. Not really what I wanted. Ah, that was a bad roll of those guys. So, we have at least a close combat coming up here. It's three dice. And we got two deadlies, yes. This means he's gone. I was lucky there. So, bye bye. And we actually gained a foothold in their trench again. Really nice. Yeah, we also get one of these for eliminating the, the unit. Not bad at all. Even though it started badly with these mortar guys. Let's see if this mortar can handle handle their equipment better than the last one so I get you know one die attack from start but the cards give me one additional die so I 
get two dice of that. First attack, yes, it gave me one hit. Now, now it's good. Okay, one gone there, and we still have another attack coming. No hits, but an HQ token, which is not too bad, I think. We're now having a few of these, and yeah, we still have that guy who can attack his machine gun with one die still. But that gives me nothing. Well, all in all, I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy. Got these guys wiped out. That was my main goal for this flank and just grabbing a foothold there. This flank, yeah, I got the advance going and quite happy I also managed to get rid of one of those. So, let's um, grab our card for turn 10. Oh, that's a good one. And now I think actually I go for the or for, um, combat card because I have five of these now. And we got a trench foot. Okay. So I can choose one unit of his activation who cannot move or battle this turn. Good. That could be a saver. And uh, by that we are ready with the British turn 9. We move on to the German turn 9 and they got themselves an infantry assault. So they issue an order to all infantry units in one section. Units may move up to two hex and battle or three and not battle. Terrain movement and battle restrictions still apply. Okay, so where do they have infantry? They got some there. They could move up to meet my assault or they could move up their bombers here and actually attack my guys there in the trench. Oh, this is I, I, both are tempting. I mean, these guys will get into a lo lot of pressure pretty soon. They got some good backup here, but maybe it would be even better if that guy would also be up here defending. On the other hand, here's a golden opportunity for them to rush here, attack me, even attack with this guy if he moves two, you can do a ranged attack there. Uh, he could actually eliminate me now there, which is, I think is more valuable for him, to be honest. So I go for that, I will activate that section. I'm thinking of if I should roll. Uh, I still have this option here, right? It's not a bad option, either. What to do? Hmm. No, I think... I think that's the best one. Yeah, let's go for that. Uh, so... Would he like to play any card then? The machine gun brush is not... Uh, he's not interested in that because he cannot activate any any of those. The trench raid... Mm. Could be something. I mean he could then move up these guys. One, two, three, four... Four. Mm. Or maybe even move that guy. One, two, three, four there. Getting better in a better position. You could also, you know, aid here eventually. Okay, let's see if he plays the trench raid. That could actually be a good option for him now. But he didn't. So let's go for a plain infantry assault here then. So, these guys moves two hexes up here, 
and these guys move two hexes up to here and that's it let's start with a ranged fire so he got two dice there he hits with a deadly die which he did he got one and he also got one of the HQ tokens for himself and we probably see the end of my push on this flank now because here comes a pretty heavy close combat. If I survive it I will certainly play this and try to damage him back. But I doubt I'm alive with that unit after this goal. But you never know, you never know. I got actually only one hit. But I got two flags, I can only ignore one, so I need to retreat actually. I need to retreat, yes. And I think I will take both flags. I want to get away now. I I lost that section now. Uh, there's nothing more to do. I wonder if retreat is... I wonder if retreat is... Uh, if I could actually go through um, wire. I think that's okay actually. I think retreats are, you know... The only thing that prevents them is prohibited or or other, other units blocking. So I will actually opt to retreat in this direction to get away from his bombers as, as much as possible. Maybe I could get this to cover. Doubt it though. I'm just uh, happy it's still alive. Okay. So he could gain ground here. Yeah, he will. So he's moving his guys here. Gaining ground. Having a better chance to attack me next turn. Will he activate that unit? And he also is a bit closer to the section where the action will be. This will be our last push. Ah, uh, okay. So we grab him a card, and then we check uh, if he wants. Yes, he do want to get more of these, and that's actually. The end of turn nine. Well, I'm gone there. I'm pretty much having nothing to in the center. So the right hand side will be the focal point in in the next uh, part of this replay. And I think the next video will be the last one. This this will end quite soon. I mean. We both have four victory medals, so this is this is still open. I mean, both sides could definitely win. You know, I can grab a victory medal by just getting into his trench and surviving there for one turn. And then I also need to kill off one more unit. For the German, he's very close to killing this, then he has five medals. And just needs one more. Um, he could, if he's lucky and getting and gets a recon card, he could get a medal by that. You know, I'm racing against time, and 
but he cannot win with that medal, so he needs to first get that and then kill my last unit uh, for a medal. So, I don't know, would he get a good barrage here now with his artillery? I'll be toaster. So, yes, they, this is uh, re really, really open, a close, close call. Uh, so I'll upload these and uh, uh, thanks for watching and I hope you uh, check in for the next next video which uh, I'm pretty sure will be the last one and uh, probably quite intense <laughs> at least up there okay uh, thanks again and uh, bye for now